Hello, my friends, my little YouTube friends. Welcome back to my channel and a two part series. We are gonna hit you with the most mattified, bulletproof beat on your face. I don't have any bronzer on. How crazy is that? It is done with the She Glam Insta Ready Face and Under Eye Powder Duo, sold exclusively at Shein. Thank you, She Glam, for sponsoring this video. Get ready, hold on to your horses. Let's begin with the beat. Say hello to the Insta Ready Setting Powders by Shein. You guys asked me for more affordable makeup and I wanna introduce you to all these beautiful colors and their little sponge that's um, very cute, you know? Looks like a peach. I like how it's like an ombre effect, like my eyes. This color range is kind of everything. I know I showed you guys how to mix powders before, but I want to show you guys how to bake today and how I got such a flawless, like rock solid complexion the day of the red carpet because I baked my cooked, baked, whatever you may call it. This technique was taken from drag queens and it is for stage. Basically, if you sweat, you're not sweating because you're baking on another level. You are making sure your skin and the powder like literally, they don't fight, they join forces. I wanna show you guys how I use a couple colors to create a flawless complexion with Shein, the She Glam Insta Ready Powder Duo that's exclusively sold at Shein.com. Don't forget to use my code itsharoosh15 at Shein.com. Let's begin. The cool thing about these powders is it comes with a pressed powder. It is basically a poor minimalizing, minim, minimalizing powder. So this is like great for touch up. And then you unscrew it. Then you have their translucent powder. They have a range of six different tones. So I can confidently say that there is a tone for any skin tone. So the first step obviously to a flawless complexion is going to be moisturizer. Just kidding, don't slap yourself. If you guys want to get this eye look, comment down below and I will drop the video. It's very in detail. I love an oily face. Going in with my regular foundation routine. I am just stippling on the foundation because I want a motherfucking beat. A little bit of contour. And if you guys are interested in more of an in-depth of my contouring, and foundation and highlighting. I swear I have a bunch of videos super in detail. This video, I only wanna concentrate on the bake and what a difference it makes. So the reason why I chose to do a bake for this look, for me, throughout my years of experience, I've noticed that especially for a nighttime red carpet, if you bake the face like this, it just like flawless poreless, not glass skin, cause I know glass skin is shiny, but like matte glass skin, you know, like the frosted glass, that's what you're gonna look like. A very frosted gradient matte beat. That's what we're going for. Contouring my nose. people have you guys seen doing this on TikTok and getting it so horribly wrong? I've only seen a couple do it correctly. Going in with a concealer. 
I'm gonna go in with a pink tone first. If you guys are gonna watch for the eye look, this is like how you clean up eyeshadow. And then more of the yellow tone. I am going to clean that up. And just pull it down. Like shape out your concealer. peach cutie pie sponge and this sponge does not absorb shit let me tell you it's like the closest thing to let's say a powder puff and a sponge it's like a hybrid and it just placing my concealer without really taking anything look so now covering up the nose. Using the same brush you used for your foundation. You're just gonna tap. Taking our little peach friend. A lot of people I feel like always go in with just the bake immediately and I don't I don't like saying I don't like something because I feel like a lot of you come for me, but honestly, um, I don't like doing that because I feel like if your sponge is a little bit too damp or if there's something on your skin, you get like these like circular stains where I you, you can take it off with a spoolie, but I prefer doing it this way where you're just setting it lightly and then after you set it lightly, that's when you can go in with the bake because that way it's already seamless and the bake is just going to cook on your skin until you wipe off 15 to 20 minutes. And when you do that, it's just like literally like your face is gonna say it with chest when you do that because it's just not moving. Good luck taking it off. So we are gonna go in with the translucent color first, which is the lightest tone for underneath my eyes. I'm, oops lightly gonna pick up on that and I'm just gonna pat it in to the sponge and what I'm doing is I'm just I mean you guys that's just setting we have not baked yet like these powders are immaculate like I know this shit's gonna go viral on TikTok just remember where you heard it first period okay I told you first six shades for 650 this is just like lightly setting it. The sponge kind of does it for you. This is where Harusha's technique comes in. I like to put different colors of bake everywhere to create saturation, vibrance on your face because if you're just placing the same color everywhere, it's gonna be flat and you don't want a flat face. You want a dimensional face, especially for the reason why I did my makeup like this on the red carpet. For a nighttime red carpet, bake like this and like setting it is going to look flawless. So if you're going to a wedding, a nighttime thing, do not do this in the daytime. I'm gonna tell you one more time, do not do this in the daytime and have the sun play you all day long so when you're gonna do this is going to be nighttime flash your face is gonna be like a filter but this just setting what I'm showing you is daytime so I'm giving you two techniques I'm setting my chin oh mother I didn't blend out that thank god I didn't put powder there chin with the white translucent around my mouth this is why they call it beat. Center of the forehead. See how it kind of already went over here and it like flattened out my contour? You don't want it to do that. I'm gonna go down the bridge of my nose. 
so I feel like a lot of affordable powders for me they don't feel like they're finely milled finely milled means like it's super thin it feels a little bit thicker like I tried out the air spun powder and it was just not for me and I know a lot of people love that powder but it was a little too thick so if you have let's say dry skin this powder will be perfect for you because it's not too thick. And if you have oily skin, as you guys noticed, I put a lot of oil on my skin earlier. This powder will be good for you if you are baking. Now I'm gonna start baking on my nose. As you can see, I'm putting on a heavy layer where you're gonna visually see it. And I'm gonna clean out around it where I don't want it to show. My nose, I'm going to start baking. And now I'm gonna set the perimeter of my face. Jewel Zang Smooth Sand, which is a similar tone to my contour. So if I went with this translucent powder all over my contour, I would lose the definition I just worked so hard on. For setting. I feel like a baseball player doing that. Look at. Bitch, please. You guys see that matte forehead? Bronze or what? And look at what a pretty color this is. Like the tone, I'm telling you guys, they really hit it on the mark with their colors. Using a little stippling brush, I'm gonna go on the sides of my nose because I want all the tones on my face to be hella cohesive. Now I'm gonna go back in with the translucent powder using this side. Also, I feel like if you guys can't see, the way the product is blending is um, pretty buttery. Like there's no chalking or caking going on. There is absolutely no spots that I see. I'm looking at it through a magnifying mirror. It's not making my face feel like super dry. Now that we have the face and I'm baking my nose already, I'm going to start baking just the highlight of my face. I do want my highlight to pop out. So if you want something to cave in, you contour it. Now you can bake your contour too, but it's gonna give you more of a chiseled look and I feel like I already have that with as much as I have going on. I'm just going to bake my highlight because I want more of a plump face. Going in with my little peach. I am just pressing down the translucent. And it almost has like this cooling effect. I feel like I definitely need to go out after this because this face is beat. Also, make sure you bake your chin because especially nowadays with these, this mask situation, but it's easy for it to come out. And also I like to bake right there. And let's brighten up that bitch in the center. So meet me back here when your face is finished baking. Set your timer, your cook timer, your preheat. We are preheating our face. No, wait, 
So I feel like the setting was preheat and now we are baking. If you have dry skin, I would leave it on for 10 minutes. If you have oily skin, 15 to 20 minutes. It really needs, your skin needs to absorb it for it to work. I see a lot of people like putting it on and then just wiping it off. There was no purpose of you doing that. You have to allow your skin temperature, like the temperature of your body to let it just create a barrier between your skin and your beef. You know what I'm saying? Meet me back. My time is up. So my skin absorbed a lot of the Insta Ready powder. As you guys can see, a lot of the parts are missing, but look at how flawless that is like right over here too. So what I actually like to do when I'm baking is I'm going to just apply the blush before I wipe it off. Just because I like when the translucent goes over the blush and it creates like a beautiful veil where it just matte, matte. And if they show you on TikTok, I feel like I'm bitter about people showing all these tricks on TikTok when they know where they learned it from. Not only me, I'm not only saying me, but I feel like they get all these techniques from a lot of celebrity makeup artists and claim it as their own, dub it as their own. Like, just look at how... You know what I mean? I'm going to hit it a little bit on my forehead with blush. My chin. I'm just going to buff that away. Now some people press it in with a powder puff. I like to buff it away. There's no wrong or right. Sometimes I can push it in and then sometimes this is my vibe. I mean, just look at that under eye. Also, you guys, I cried during that movie premiere. It was a documentary. I cried during the documentary and my face did not go anywhere using a bigger brush. Now I'm just going to gel up my bush babies. Gonna give you guys a liner moment. it with a nude gloss in the center oh yeah <laughs> this is the final look eyes and perfect beat poof powdery staying mattified bulletproof makeup look and for all you bitches in the back I hope you guys see some dimension brightness and staying powder when i say bitches i mean it with utmost love and respect with all due respect you guys know what i mean thank you she glam for sponsoring this video if you want to get their insta ready powder duo just go to their website shein.com or download their app don't forget to use it's harouche 15 as a discount code everything i beat my face with is going to be linked down below six dollars and fifty cents so this is the most affordable face beat I've probably showed you guys and it doesn't matter what foundation you're using because the powders really consume your entire face in my personal humble opinion without further ado let me hit you with the quote of the video the quote of the video is behind every strong person is a story that gave them no choice I feel like I keep giving these inspirational quotes behind every strong person when we look at strong people you just like you feel like they can carry the weight of the world on their shoulders but I feel like circumstances have made them strong you're just not born that way. It's like life experience that forces you to be strong because you have nothing else but yourself to depend on when you get pushed up against a wall. Behind every strong person is a story that gave them no choice. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Love you guys so much forever and always.